Well, good morning. This morning I was thinking about benedictions. Uh, there are several different benedictions that the Apostle Paul would use as he was writing to the people uh, that he loved. So listen to one of these. This is in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, the last few verses of that book. Finally, brethren, rejoice and be made complete. Be comforted, be like-minded, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints of God greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. So I was thinking about that last verse, those three components that Paul really prayed for the church at Corinth. Number one, he prays for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus is all about grace, right? He goes to the cross extending grace to you and I. Now, you come to the Father, to God, it says, the love of God. So the love of God it w is what ushers forth the giving of His Son. So, grace on the cross, the gift of the Son from love from the Father. And finally, the last part of this is the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. So I want you to understand that every day you walk around, you have fellowship. You could be alone all day long. You could be in a cave somewhere, and you still have fellowship. And that fellowship is of the Holy Spirit. So today I want you to walk around whatever you do today. Uh, if you go to work, if you stay home, if you have conversations with people, if you go to church, if you don't. Ha understand these three things about who you are as a person. Number one, you have the grace of God dwelling within you. Number two, the love of the Father offers that grace to you. And number three, the Holy Spirit desires to fellowship with you all day long. He doesn't take a break from you. He doesn't say, oh, you go take a nap, I I'll go somewhere else. No, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with you all the time, all day long, consistently. So I'm going to encourage you to enjoy His presence, enjoy the Father's love, and enjoy the Son's grace.